Je vous propose I suggest we talk about switching to the spread of Frogan's technology from the perspective of Frogan's technology promotion. And over to Philip Collin, head of innovation. Hello, good evening, and hi to all those uh, attending this conference via our website. So P for promotion, because a technology which is not used or fostered in the ecosystem is useless. So promotion is pivotal. It, it's about raising awareness about the Frogan's technology and to show how the internet can benefit from the Frogan's technology. So that's what we do when promoting Frogan's technology. So for those of you who don't fall asleep at night rereading the OP3FT bylaws, a brief reminder, what are the four vectors for us to act and promote OP3FT? We create practical resources like documents, videos, pamphlets, like the videos which are being broadcasted live at the moment and will be posted on the YouTube channel of OP3FT. These are documents which are available and which will help the ecosystem to understand the Frogan's technology. So these are what we call practical resources. And like in any human group, you also need an conquer your members. So you need and meet new users. So depending on where you stand, you have uh, a large number of web users, three billions apparently, so we need to reach out to them where they are. And they're based in their countries, they're, you meet them in conventions, exhibitions, all sorts, by the way, technical shows, business shows, legal conventions. So we have to walk outside our comfort zone and meet people who'd be interested in the OP3FT ecosystem. And when we meet them, they usually ask questions. So we need to answer. We answer live most of the time. And I'll be delighted to answer any of your questions. Uh, and then we use uh, circulation lists and emails, but the Frogan's technology with its distribution power, circulation power, raises questions and we need to answer questions. Then we facilitate meetings between different stakeholders. So this is a perfect e example. You have uh, members of the internet ecosystem that come and meet together, but it can also be in third venues like Akaton where members of the ecosystem get to meet one another. So that's the, the overview of what we do at promotion. So now let me be more specific. Historical background to start with. Since 20... So the first thing is... Uh, meetings with the ecosystem. We've had eight conferences. This is the eighth Frogan's Technology Conference, which allows members of the ecosystem to meet one another. So we've developed various topics like um, we looked for topics for each individual conference that would be of interest to members of the ecosystem. And I fully realize that when I talk about members of the ecosystem, it's very vast. Frogan's technology is not dedicated to just one category of the ecosystem. It can potentially have an impact on all members of the ecosystem. And that's part of what makes our job fun. Over the last two years, we also took part in 
awareness campaign for trademark holders. One of the first milestones when we introduced the Frogans technology consisted in trademarks being capable of registering their brands or their networks. So we met with marketers, we organized workshops where trademark holders could talk to us directly on various topics, address registration, dispute resolution, etc. So each time it was different because we were talking to a different part of the ecosystem. We also participated physically to global events. ECAN, Inter, Cybersecurity, International Forum. I mean, we are in the world of technology, but this is a human business at the end of the day, and I like to understand what was the intention of a designer, and the designer likes understanding what the user uh, does. So, meeting is crucial in order to share from different perspectives. So we used these conventions to take part in these discussions. We are sometimes invited to make a presentation. And with the convergence of FSDL that is now stable, we also took the initiative of spreading the good word with before early developers, so you know, technical guys, those who eat HTML for breakfast, have lunch over JavaScript and have dinner over SCSS. So these guys, they have a specific expertise that we are interested in, in order to validate FSDL. You know, our task is easier now, but when the uh, FSDL language is locked in. Okay, so that's where we stand today. We're locking in the FSDL language, and I say, good Lord, that's great, because now we can start talking to the world. Why? Because, um, okay, it's you announced end of October to be confirmed. But what's important here is that now we can talk to developers and we can tell them, okay, ladies and gentlemen, you can develop Frogan's site. You have a guarantee that they will be accessible and visible just like that for six months, six years, 20 years. And this is not a promise we could make up until now. And by the way, I'd like to pay tribute to all the developers that we met in Africa, in China, in Japan, in Europe, of course, in the US and elsewhere, to whom we, with whom we shared the message. We said, well, FSL is a language that's being matured. So, you know, it's evolving. And at one stage, we'll look it in. And that's now. And then there is another powerful need, which is to decide how we can communicate to those billion people. Remember, 18 million developers, web developers, and engineers, software developers working for publishers. So quite clearly, we won't be able to talk to them one by one. So we'll have to catalyze resource creation by others. It doesn't, we are not trying to say that we are the standard experts for FSDL, so we'll develop tutor tutorials. This is not the way it works. There are zillions of different types of tutorials, so that would be a huge work. And then you have cultural specificities. You have those who like shorter tutorials, others who like longer tutorials in their natural language, in their mother language. 
So we want to encourage resource creation. And when I talked about tutorials, but it could be books. Imagine you walk in a bookstore, you go to the IT department, and there on the shelf you find books. I can't mention a brand, but that would be FSDL for dummies. Yeah. We've not designed a book, but there are authors out there who would be interested because that's their business, and this is how they can increase their reputation and generate an income. So imagine a bookstore in Paris, but there is a bookstore in Sao Paulo, Brazil, the same, another one in New York, and we need and encourage this process of resource creation by others. Okay, I was talking about the bookstore, that's one example, but there is more. There is online resources, for instance, like tutorials, books, etc. So we're just about to start spreading the technology, so, that, so our role is evolving, promotion is going to change. We need and define priorities. So after we heard this presentation on our strategy via a cone, we'll focus on the tip of the cone because this is where you have the biggest leverage effect, where you have people who can potentially generate tutorials. So we'll use knowledge, we'll use education, intellectual curiosity, we will use very simple human levers. People say, what's the next big thing? We don't know what the next big thing is going to be, but we all want to have a go at it. So how are we going to achieve that? Well, just by getting in touch with the guys and by attending various events like Akaton. This is what we did this year. Uh, during FTC 7 in June, we met with the organizers of the Akathon in the Ivory Coast. They invited us, and then they came to share with you here in Paris. So we will meet this request, and we will also instill similar requests by making presentations during technical conferences. For those of you who follow us, if you're a developer, there are, you know that there are some conferences like Devox, GoTo, and PHP conferences organized everywhere in the world, getting together hundreds and thousands of senior developers. So the OP3FT needs to be there and spread the good word in these technical conventions where conversation is already taking place. We're not preaching to the choirs, we're preaching to people who are already convinced. <coughs> then we need an answer local initiatives. We need and speak before technical audiences during big conventions. We will continue attending and participating to the ICANN Congress because that's a very simple way to have a global outreach. And then we'll change the format of the FTCs. We will try and go more in depth in certain topics. We'll select technical topics and we'll go more in depth in order to better demonstrate the specificities and, and benefits of the Frogan's technology. So this is what we are going to start doing as of tomorrow, October 12th, because that's the beginning of the spreading of our technology, so we get organized to be able and meet the challenge. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup, Philippe. Thanks a lot, Philippe.